Think that pie crust is too hard to make? Well, my recipe doesn't require cutting in any lard or grating any butter, so it's quick and easy. Also, after I show you how to roll it out quickly and easily, you'll never buy another pie crust again. I guarantee it. In terms of the ingredients, in this bowl I have one cup of all-purpose flour, I have two tablespoons of butter, an eighth of a cup of vegetable oil, I'm using canola oil, half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. You could use white distilled vinegar, but don't use red wine vinegar because it has too strong of a taste. In this glass here, I have half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of sugar. And over here, I have three to four tablespoons of chilled water. The first step is to melt the butter in the microwave. And once it's done, we will go to the second step. Here's a quick tip. If you're melting butter in the microwave, you might want to cover it with some wax paper just in case it splatters. You don't want to have to clean up the inside of your microwave. The butter is melted. Three pulses of 11 seconds on high in the microwave. Now all that we have to do is add in the melted butter. Two tablespoons of butter. Eighth of a cup of canola oil, half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, half a teaspoon each of salt and sugar, and now the three to four tablespoons of water. One, two, three. Honestly, I think it's going to need four, but we'll see. And, yeah, it's going to need four. easier to add than take away, so if you're not sure, put in a little bit less. As you can see, this comes together really easily. Do not have to chill the butter or the lard or anything. It's together very nicely, and at the end, use my hands to incorporate everything. bit more water. There we go. So now I'm going to let this rest. You could roll this out right now, but I'm going to work on the filling for the pie and I will show you how to roll out this pie crust for uh, pie that just has a bottom like a pumpkin pie or a pecan pie. Now that the dough is finished, I'm going to wrap it in plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator for about 10 to 15 minutes. But honestly, you could probably roll it out right away. When I bring it back, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to roll out this pie crust. And now I'm ready to roll out the dough. Here I have a 9 inch glass pie plate. I took some butter and rubbed it Around the inside, you could use a nonstick spray. I've even seen people just sprinkle some flour on the pie plate. So whatever you want to do is fine. And here I have two pieces of wax paper, a rolling pin and some flour. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some flour down on the bottom piece of wax paper, put my dough here, a little more flour, the top piece of wax paper on top of it, and then I'm going to use my rolling pin to roll out from the center towards the edges. This way I can use a wax paper to move the dough around if I'm pushing too much in one direction and also if I notice the dough is going too much in one direction versus another all I'm going to do is pull off pieces of dough and tack them onto the side where I need more. Even though we don't want to work it too much since I added apple cider vinegar that's going to help inhibit gluten formation so we don't have to worry too much about the dough getting tough. So I will show you how to roll it out. So like I said I started by putting down some flour about a teaspoon 
I have my dough. Put it down here. Maybe, I don't know, half a teaspoon of flour on top. If that. Just enough to cover it so that it doesn't stick to this piece of wax paper. Put the second piece on top. And now we roll. Like I said, from the center outwards. And since we're rolling on top of wax paper, we can move the wax paper around to help us as well. Even though I think I'm getting pretty good at rolling out circular pie crust, it's not always perfect. So, like I said, if I'm getting a little overextended here, I can peel it off and put it where I need it. Hmm. Maybe here, maybe here. Honestly, I think I did a pretty good job with this one. your first time doing this, do not be afraid to really take off pieces from the edge and put it on other sides of the, of the dough. It will not affect it at all. And honestly, I think I'm pretty much done now. Now the fun part, transferring it to the pie plate. There's a trick to that as well. So I'll bring you back. Here's the pie crust. I would say it's probably, I don't know, a quarter of a centimeter. Once the crust is rolled out, transferring it to the pie plate is pretty easy if you've rolled it between two pieces of wax paper. What I do is slide this over. Here we have the pie plate. Let's get this out of the way. All you have to do is peel off the top layer of wax paper. Flush to the side. Take your pie plate, put it upside down over the crust. And then fall in the rest. Just turn it. This in one swift motion. And now it is in the pie plate. And I have a small knife here. All I'm going to do is go around the edges and trim off the excess. If I see a hole somewhere, I'll just fill it in there. If this were colder, it would be a bit more solid, but honestly, I said I was going to let this rest, but I decided to just go for it, and it's really not that hard. If it were colder, it would probably be a little bit easier, but Honestly, you could just go right from mixing it to rolling it out. See? I'll probably try to pretty it up a little bit, but I think it looks pretty good. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe.